Hi, Paul Bedford here from Retention Guru. And in this short video, I am talking to Graham Hind on stage at one of his LFX events um, in the northwest of England, um, where we've been talking about our early learning experiences at school, what's sort of really what led us to be doing what we're doing. And there were a number of other speakers. Emma was on stage with me at the same time. Um, and Graham asked the question, you know, if I was a leader or if I'm leading, what do I think is important? And in this clip, that's what I talk about. So it's a bit more personal than some of the data driven ones I do, um, but I hope you find it useful. If you've got any questions, please put them in the box down below. Be happy to get back to you. For now, enjoy the clip and I'll speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye. Last question, Paul. Two bits of advice you give everybody here to become better leaders. Um, listen, and I know that can sometimes sound really cliche, but often, as you just alluded to, sometimes what people are saying isn't what they're feeling or behaving or, and you can see that in people. And then I think just giving people really clear directions so they know where you're, you know, if you're leading an organisation, you know, what I, well, a lot of the projects I do, we get it down to one thing. We go, we want to improve this. And everybody knows, and if you said to them, what are we working on? We're improving this. There's that, there's a, an old, a speaker story that's often used is a consultant went round um, the Dallas Cowboys and said, you know, what's your job? Oh, my job's to help the Dallas Cowboys. So they spoke to the cleaner. What's, what's your job? My job's to help the Dallas Cowboys win the Super Bowl. They were cleaning. And then they go to the kit man. What's your job? My job's to help the team win the Super Bowl. And it wasn't, oh, I clean the floors. It was like, I am here as part of the team that gets us there. Um, and I think when people have clear goals, then they know they can start to see where they fit into that. And they can start to identify what they can contribute to that. Because as Gemma just said, in one context, she's super, super. Or, uh, Emma. Emma, sorry, Emma, I've done that twice. Emma. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, super, super efficient, but in a different context, there's something else, you know, and, and I think we all have a lot of that. We're good at one thing, but in another context, we're not, so it's recognise what people, what people are good at in the context of getting you to where you want to go. Would you agree, Bob? I have, I have an opinion that, that leaders, people love a leader that's very certain. In, in, in the direction. Uncertainty yeah. is one of our the things as humans we, yeah. we hate, don't we? Yeah. Uh, we can all use examples yeah. of, of it. And, and, but, and therefore, conversely, when you leader is certain about something and is clear yeah. in their ambitions, etc. I mean, that example is brilliant of somebody that's, that's cleaning a stadium but their mission yeah, the purpose is to get them to the Super Bowl. That's brilliant. I would, I was give when I see that there's a, there's an organisation in America and they survey the top fifty CEOs in fitness every year about their outlook for the future. And really, unsurprising to me, it's always positive. And it's unsurprising to me because you wouldn't employ a CEO who didn't think the outcome of the future was positive. And so you always get, oh, it's, we're going to grow, we're going to expand it. Because that's what you want as a leader. You want someone who's going to lead you forward. Leader. A very different answer if you are talking to the chief financial officer <laughs> about what does the future look like. But then that's not their role to lead. And it's like, I, I, I have a software company and I'm not the CEO. I've got someone else to be the CEO because the traits of a CEO for that type of company. I don't exhibit those traits. I have other traits that can contribute. Um, and I recognise that. And sometimes my sister describes herself, she's really good in the support role. She's not really good at the leader role. And I think so sometimes you have to go, actually, for go ego, we get there if I put you in charge rather than I'm in charge. 